everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I have kind of a fun package um, to share with you. Now I will say I have kind of peeked in this but I haven't looked closely at it so um, most of it I will be um, seeing for the first time with you other than just a quick glance in the box. Um, this, the only swap that I participated in over at artandsassy.ning.com this month was um, called a Secret Santa Swap and we were supposed to take um, and alter a jelly jar and um, fill it with goodies and then send it to a secret person in there. And I was really surprised because my package already came. It's not due till the end of the month. I haven't even started my project yet, so you'll be seeing it soon. But um, so when I do this video, I'm not going to tell you who my um, secret Santa was. Um, simply because I don't want to ruin the fun for everyone else. Um, for those who haven't received their secret Santa yet, um, if they can eliminate, they can figure it out by the process of elimination who um, their secret Santa is if they figured out who's already sent packages. So we're going to keep that part a secret, um, but we're going to dive into this box. Um, we were supposed to provide some guidelines of things that we liked, our favorite colors, um, if we preferred like vintage or shabby chic or anything like that. So um, let's see what's in here. The first thing is this gorgeous card. Um, it's, a, it's a snow globe shaped card and it's got a felt snowman on it and some little um, flocked Christmas trees. Just really pretty. Some of that really pretty glitter paper. Just a whole lot of fun. And it's actually, it's not a card that opens. It's one that has, I'm going to try to cover everything up here. Um, it's one that has um, plenty of room for the person to write on the back. So thank you so much. And you know who you are. Um, and thank you. I just want to say thank you already. I can tell it's something very pretty. So the first thing that we come to... Oh, it's all tied up. I'm going to set the jar aside because that's the main part of the swap. And we'll open that last. And then it looks like everything else is tied together in here which is just so amazingly above and beyond anything I could have even imagined. So um, we'll move aside the packaging. This gorgeous spray almost reminds me of a corsage with a um, little red bird on it. And the bird has a clip. Oh, it's just gorgeous and gorgeous purple ribbon. I just love it. Um, these are those wax paper bags that are so fun. And I don't think I have any of these. I did have some and I use them um i kind of recycled them for another swap so fun and so so fun and look at this this is a really heavy duty um tag it says happy holidays and um it's from michael's it's got a little bell and it could be a christmas tree ornament too just a whole lot of fun there thank you so much and this bag is stamped with greetings from wonderland oh wow okay this is some of that um blingy mesh and I have seen videos with these um, and I've never purchased this so this will be really fun to do something fun with and of course it's in the best color in the world I'm just gonna it's a lot of crinkling with these wax waxy bags they're so pretty I really like the stamps on this bag um, she stamped a savior is born and a little nativity scene so fun oh and look at those flowers gorgeous glittery flowers with um, the big um, like button type centers. Oh, and these purple ones are just, oh, more purple. Look at those. Aren't those just stunning? Thank you so much. And then these are really fun. These are like chipboard flowers. I've not seen these before. Um, or at least if I've seen them, I don't think I've ever had any, but they're a lot of fun. They're really heavy duty chipboard, um, flowers. Very cool. And this bag, before I go any further, this bag, I have seen these bags on YouTube and stuff, and I have I don't think, I think every time I've looked for them, I've not seen them. And I just think they are so fun in real life. I have um, wanted to purchase these bags. I, don't, I, haven't even, I haven't looked hard on the internet, but in the stores that I frequent, I've not seen them anywhere. So let's see what's in here. So, so fun. Oh my goodness, more flowers. Look at those. Fabric flowers from Webster's Pages. I don't think I have anything from Webster's Pages, so those are really pretty and something new to add to my collection. Oh, and look at those bloomers from Webster's Pages. I do get their emails, so I'm aware that they have these, but I've never, ever had anything. Oh, so cool. Oh, and fabric ribbons. 
Oh, very cool. I've never had, I've never seen those, oh, well, this brand. I've seen fabric ribbon before, but those are really cool. And this one is really wide. That's got to be, I don't know, two and a half, three inches. Very, very neat. Thank you so much. And you know who you are. Now, the, the main part of the swap is what's wrapped up in here, which is all that I expected. So the, everything else is just above and beyond. So let's open that up and look at that altered jar. So the guidelines were um, we needed to have a jar about this size or um, even somewhere like this. And it just reminds me of a jelly jar, um, which I probably have somewhere in my canning stuff. I actually do can. Um, I haven't this year and I haven't as much since going to nursing school, but I actually do do that and I do enjoy it. So I do have jars. Um, I actually purchased mine at Joann's, but then we were supposed to have, I can't remember off the top of my head, we were supposed to decorate the top and then I think we're supposed to have three or four embellishments on the jar itself besides then filling it with goodies. Um, this gorgeous fabric is all padded and um, when I saw the, the original one that we were um, the sample that we were shown, um, I thought this would be really fun for stick pins, to put stick pins in the top. Wouldn't that be fun? So this is all finished with a, um, the nice puffy jar. And then it's just filled with all sorts of goodies. There's more of this mashy bling. And you see she wrapped that around there too. Not pretty? And some really super fun Christmas washi tape. And then there's some jewels, and I don't have a lot of flat back jewels like this. Um, and so these are really a lot of fun. There's flowers in there, and butterflies, and dragonflies, and snowflakes, and stars. Just so many fun things. Hearts, thank you so much. And then we get into, oh, look at that stick pin. Oh my goodness, isn't that gorgeous? I am going to, let's see, let's get some of this so you can kind of see it there. I don't think I have ever seen a stick pin like this. This is stunning. Um, I really like butterflies. If you watch my videos, I've mentioned that before. It's kind of a family thing. My mom likes them, my sister likes them, my grandmother likes them. Um, I think it's just part of who we are. Um, and I think I like the thought of a, an ugly caterpillar being transformed into a butterfly and how that can parallel with life and what the Lord does to us. And so we just love butterflies. So I really, really like that. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Um, some more trim. I do not have any trim like this before. In fact, I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like this before. It's um, like a fabric fill with almost like a pico type edge on it, kind of. Um, and then the printed floral, just beautiful. Oh, I love it. Um, oops. Oh boy. There's lots of little things in there. I, there's some of these fun, fun, fun little wood chips. Oh, and a camera. Focus on your future is what the camera says. These adorable little birds and a typewriter. Oh, how fun is that? Um, some really pretty, um, almost eyelet type lace in red. I don't have anything like that, that color. This is a fun Christmassy color one. How fun is that? Just um, some almost like a vintage fill of the trim in Christmas colors. Oh, I can do something fun with that. So excited. Oh, and here's more of that bling, only this is in silver. And I don't know, let's see if I can untie it here in time for you to see it. Look at that. How fun is that? Won't that make such fun? Like I said, I don't have any of this, so I, I'm excited to get to try to use that. And then this brown lace, um, it's like it's crocheted. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous, gorgeous. And, oh, there's some more little butterflies in there. And, um... A, a butterfly and a bird. And then this trim on here, this is almost like, it reminds me of a choker. Um, it's a soft velvety trim and I don't think I have, I know I don't have any flowers like this. This is just beautiful. Just the, all the texture of those flowers. And then the charm has a little reindeer and uh, some 
like a a crystal type bling on it and then a pine cone charm isn't that fun so um for my secret santa you know who you are and i'm just going to tell you right now i know who you are and i thank you very 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 much this is just amazing to me just such a fun fun package and i really appreciate your kindness and generosity so for the rest of you out there, um, be sure and check out artandsassy.ning.com. Um, we're going to be taking the month of December off from swaps, but we will be back and strong um, in January. And there are some um, things being added, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So be sure and check us out over there. Um, Kara and Kim have done a great job in setting up the site, and um, I'm looking forward to see what they have for us next year. So thanks so much for stopping by, and remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.